New update, guys! Check it out! Whatever, let's just jump down straight into it. So what's going on, Pixelgon Gamers? It's Boss Mod right here, and uh, why I haven't been uploading for quite a while is because I've been planning uh, several videos. I've been setting up this asset for the thumbnail, but also done a bunch of random other stuff that that could have also been videos. But this, but now we are going to be sharing some moments of video with you guys. So. I've noticed that we got another water update, and uh, after waiting for five days, I think, after the Android players got the update, we get the update as well. So, where could the update 17.7 be? Nowhere, but under the sea. So we're under the ocean. Uh, this gives me like a vibe of Lego Bionicle Mari, I think it was. Let's look at the Traders Van. So we have Traders Van for bonus a bonus for the whole set. Atlantic Season, which is a uh, sea bottom dwellers, happy to welcome you. Giant Scuba Diver Set and Deep Dive Lottery. So, the Scuba Diver Set is going to be a casino event. And the Deep Dive Lottery is going to be a casino. No, not a casino, but a super lottery. Good to know. So, if you look at the Traders Van, we've gotten ourselves some stuff over here that we can buy. For a total of 1,000 and uh, 1,050 gems. Yes, that's 1,050 gems all together just to get the whole entire set right here. With that, you will get Elite Marine Ops, which is just another Battle Royale cosmetic. I actually criticize that bonus because you're paying 1,050 gems for getting a larger hitbox to suffer with with yourself. The design of the guns looks really cool and also really fitting to. It's like a futuristic whale hunter theme, so I like that style that they did with the cold tones of colors and also the red blasters. Works really well together in the underwater theme. Let's get out of that because I'm actually going to be buying all of that. Wait, hold on. We've got to check out the Atlantic season. So all for the Atlantic season, the first thing we're going to be getting is Call of Sirens. I'm going to be actually orientating about the update in a little bit but just checking out what stuff we have over here so yeah this is really much the same just providing one craftable weapon and then one legendary weapon that you can obtain and some coins some currency get get your stuff back and also we got a glider the combat squid we also got a shovel another vortex storm vortex trail and also beautiful shells trails all of those cosmetic and we also gotten giant bubble as a glider and sunken hook and also the tide bracers weapon and uh, getting the deep ambusher for a uh, mythical craftable and also some skins and the uh, chest that we can get the total amount of winners we can get for this season is three and it's set to 27 days mainly because they want to keep a monthly flow between the battle passes they want the battle passes to be a month pass so that's the explanation. We also get the exclusive looking challenges when we uh, purchase the battle pass. So we gotten to we gotten a new weapon. Also gotten the the Kraken Colt Knight with Stulhu Legacy, which is another consecutive explosions weapon. And when I when I try this weapon, when I press the shoot button of this weapon, it actually didn't show. The it actually didn't show in a manner like the in a, such a manner of consecutive explosions like the Knight's Axe, although not the no, not the Knight's Axe. It was called uh, it was called uh, it was called so something. Oh, man, I forgot about it. Anyways, so it's a consecutive explosions, poison, and healing with also a mobility of the second highest mobility in. I think it was turret because I've I've heard rumors about. Some weapons have 90 mobility, but anyways, that's that weapon right there. So for the challenges, win five matches in a row and eliminate opponents. You basically gotta achieve the pro token, the pro uh, achievement that you get onto some game mode. You gotta also be picking up people with sniper scopes, get a bunch of coins, and also headshots on Team Strike. They intended this because Team Strike is a fast pace. Making sure that the the uh, the player who are going through this is gonna feel a little bit overwhelmed 
doing a lot of team strikes. But I personally have done a lot of team strikes, so I'm not going to feel as overwhelmed as an average player if, in my thoughts right there. And then, open a lot of lucky chests. The same spectrum, the same things go over and over again. Now, frankly, the developers formulated their patch notes to where it looked like there's a very little content. But believe it or not, after looking at the battle pass, and after looking in the craft, which I'm going to be going through right now, there are four sets that they added into the game. So they made a kind of, of a sneaky fox propaganda right here, and decided let's try to make sure that the players not are not going to be thinking that there's going to be much intent because there are so little words towards it that it gives the impression that it has a little content available. But when you actually look at it again and look over here, you've seen that they're still been running with the cycle that they always do in their updates. And I'm going to be keep saying it again until they actually add some very different update. Because the same cycle has begun over and over again. The developers keep adding more mythical weapons. That the mythical weapons become a commodity. It doesn't even become a mythical weapon. There's no feel and vibes to mythical weapon. Not even for, not for a lot of players right now when they actually see these same things returning and returning and returning. And you're just going to overwhelm the new players who play for like 1-2 to two hours per day and uh, knowing the fact that they're not going to be getting any far makes them feel pessimistic for new events to get by. It feels like they're never going to be getting new sets when you just keep adding more and more weapons. People actually rather want the developers to have some fixes, core fixes, although they show that in the patch notes, but they still add a ton of uh, freaking content right here. And by the looks of these set effects. That is the same set effect as the Pilgrim, I think, and the Cyber Santa, and we probably got some other that have resistance as well. Let me check out over here to prove it to you guys. Hmm. Not that, I guess. Yeah, it is resistant to bleed. It, it is resistant to effects, but not the, but not four effects. The first set, it has resistance to three effects, but there was one that has resistance to four effects right here. I'm pretty sure. So there's no no big deal. No big deals. No big deals at all. I think it's around here somewhere. If I'm not mistaken. It's a bunch. Yeah, the ancient matches that have the same. It's the same as the current new advanced arsenal setup. And you also got underwater spec ops. Which makes you invis whenever you reload your weapons. You also got the this giant scuba diver set. Which is to increase jump high, great health, and armor regeneration, the same as Battle Royale setup. And also, full set effect, which is the same as Echo Soldier's set bonus accelerated gadget recharge. So, for today, it will seem wonky, but I bought everything. Cool. There you go. So, now I did that. So, now if we have a look over here, we gotta get this. We've gotten three new mythical weapons that we can review for you guys and we can get in this and I'm not gonna choose you because I'm still gonna be choosing my freaking skin dude I'm just getting the new weapons for my useless collection now the funny thing is if you want to compare getting it from the trades fan which is always another source of uh, getting new new weapons to casino events Casino events and Traders 1 weapons uh, have uh, the same kind of amount of expense. For my own personal experience, there is, although, a possibility that you can actually get the weapon for a tad little less, but I don't think, I don't think there are... People may be thinking that you can't get it for way less gems, like 100 gems, but nah. I don't think that's a possibility, because that would require you to have several days reset where you actually get the jackpot several times. So, thinking that you will actually get the... So thinking that this was actually a lot of wasted gems. This is probably the same banquet as you have to pay for a casino event, for any casino event. You might feel a little bit less in my, in my experience though. So there you go, three weapons. We already unlocked the new set for the update right here. Fun, right? Yeah, a lot of fun, fun, fun. New weapons that return every single time, but eh. Doesn't bring me the right vibes though, even though I got some new weapons. I will be reviewing them during the update, but I have some other weapons that I want to review 
I'll, but I'll probably review this as first because the new fresh weapons people like to want to know those weapons and I do intend to give some proper review videos of those weapons so I think giving proper review videos of the new weapons that I will obtain before I move on and start mass reviewing <laughs> these weapons that I have over here including the anime season I will clear off that and then I'll clear off the past events that have happened that's my future plan and also going to be including some some uh, more than uh, Boston Automoto. Maybe I'll do some squad videos again because it's been a while since I've been doing some squad videos. The shooting with friends as it's called right now. And in the clans, it seems like I haven't done that much, but really, we are at second place, so I'm really happy. We will still fight on in the gold league. We'll still fight on in the gold league. We keep our same pace as we have because if we face a top clan based on the matchmaking, then uh, it's not gonna be fairly fun if you want to ask it that way. I don't think there's anything that much of the new update. We still have to wait for quite a time. We still have to wait for this to end because uh, the casino event is still going, but it's not true for me because I've already gotten the what it is what is it the 80s skin over here, the digital hero skin. I've already gotten that skin, and therefore. And therefore, just another thing for my useless collection and that event disappearing. So now, I have one of my favorite weapons to use for a combo string. And uh, also, a trendy weapon that a people bunch of use. And also, a previous trendy weapon, but in which have a delay by default. It does, yeah, it did have a delay by default in the beginning, but it was really trendy because it had a wide range. Although the, although the projectile itself was actually really flat. It went on a rotating spiral, not spiral because it was a square. So the only way it was gonna lie horizontal on the axis spin around, that could be in spiral direction. But if I a net Cyrex net, because it pretty much resembles that in my head, because I know Mortal Kombat, it flies towards the opponent and one shots them. But those ages are, yeah, th that is aged off right now. So that's that. There's nothing that much to talk about in the new update. We have a patch note over here that we can see. There's also some improvements that they have, including the black market to stop getting the same things as uh, no, no, stop getting the things that you already have in the black market. Although that seemed to be failing because I heard from some of my friends that they still get an offer of a weapon they've already gotten, and uh, that's a big goofer because the developers. We're trying to do was trying to update the game and update the black market system to where it fits better for your players. And they also added they also added up that the pets, the lower grader pets, the rare and epic ones, and even the common ones, aren't going to be costing gems. So that's one good news. So yeah, just remember, I paid over a thousand gems for just getting all of these weapons. I did. I did. Now do my thing what what are you doing still? You just bought a freaking weapons again, because because you might have forgotten about it. I do this for adding it to my useless collection and also maybe to review it for you for some of you guys and then ha maybe have fun with it. Two of the weapons are maybe edible for combo stringing right here. I have to have a good look at them before we move on. Other changes that I've seen, I don't have the patch notes right in front of me. It's just a mailbox saying the new update is out about the Atlantis. Yeah. So they also reworked cluster bombs. So let's check out the cluster bombs right here. Because they made the logic different from what it is. Because the sequenced explosion isn't simultaneous after the initial explosion. It goes in a, in a randomish order. Of the the cluster bombs goes into a randomish order, and the range of which the cluster bombs are, is landing has been set to decrease. So let's go to Polygon and actually see it ourselves. So if we fire this, you see they explode. They actually not exploding on ground like they did before. They actually explode in mid air as well. So for my concern, the weapon itself. When it was uh, firing explosions and it explodes onto ground, and that's mostly what made players frustrated. But making it on air makes me feel a little bit critical about it because if there are explosions 
onto the air already, then sure, it's not going to make a very big difference between the range of it. Because if those explosions are going to be up there, then you just broadened... Then you actually just broadened the cluster bombs range by uh, here, and also getting a little bit box of death and damage. All of that, all of that nasty stuff with the cluster bomb you can never imagine. So yeah, that's that fact. Because it doesn't explode on ground anymore, it actually explodes on air f by my by my own noticing, by me noticing this. So that's that being nerfed. And also, I heard from my friend right here that if he were to use x-ray vision right now, you are going to get tagged. <laughs> and when I just heard that, that was actually, that was just outrageous. That actually... In my first impression of hearing that was actually completely outrageous. Why are you using a recon when you are getting tagged? What's the point of using recon when you're getting tagged? And the only logical explanation I had for this was thinking maybe Echo Soldier and all the other people who may be playing similar as him in the duels, they get behind a wall and they peek through with the they peek through with the x-ray and uses that for their own tactic with their aiming help or whatever to use a high rig weapon and try to, to hopefully one shot their opponents to win i think that's why that's why x-ray vision has been changed to that behavior but it still doesn't make sense it still isn't su sufficient argument for it to change for one you can easily overwhelm them their movement and they're not going to be always hitting who, who says they are always really gonna hit? And especially if you are daring to fire from long range because you want to pick people up from long range. They, we, we are me. I like to be trying to pick people from long range. I don't even mind their distance that much. But <laughs> using x-ray vision is only going to be temporarily on the scope of the weapon. That's always... That was always the x-ray vision feature. Whenever there was an x-ray, there was a scope that you had to peek through at to give you an idea of where the opponent is. On a large map, though, you probably, if you were targeting an opponent from far range and you see that opponent, I'm going to shoot him from a far range, there's, the chances are that that opponent is probably already off the area it is right now. But since we're talking about duels and you're using x-ray to watch your opponent, they say that you can easily anticipate your opponent's movement by just that. But there's an easy way to anticipate your opponent's movement, which is one of the weapons that few, probably half a handful of people are even talking about. The one and only tagging weapon for the target mark. You just hover the scope over someone's head and wait for long enough, you see a red arrow on top of their head. They got tagged. And you will see where they are. I actually wonder if they changed that mechanic though. Because although not a lot of people use that compared to the Project Marlin X-Ray Vision and all the X-Ray Vision weapons that have been existing. In fact, a bunch of weapons have X-Ray Vision. <laughs> a bunch of new weapons that are being introduced right here have X-Ray Vision. This has X-Ray Vision. The new sniper. This has x-ray vision. That is also another x-ray vision. Like, dude. Project Marlin has an x-ray vision. That's already three weapons that has x-ray vision. We go over here. We go over here. Is there anything? Is there anything down here? Head enlargement. Uh-huh. Of the crab arm. So we gotten three new weapons. <laughs> that are all of x-ray. And the fact that people are using X-Ray because they feel like, oh, it's easier to anticipate your opponent because your opponent will be revealed whenever you're looking through the scope. But here's the thing, you're looking through the scope. It's not like tagging your opponent like I do with the Proud Eagle. The tagging stays there and all the teammates can see it. I feel like that's more convenient for my own part than using X-Ray. And now, since they kind of perplexed the logic of X-Ray, it makes me feel a little bit weird for using it because that it reveals your position for insufficient arguments to even say that you gotta reveal your position because the point of recon is to see your enemy without them seeing you by you safely behind behind a wall or no matter what you still gotta get out there you still gotta confront them and 
chances are there that the that the enemy you're confronting will see you and then, then she he will confront. So X-ray vision, why that nerf? I don't really get it. I don't think the arguments are sufficient for calling it a nerf. For calling it not not really a nerf, but just uh, but just reverse its meaning. It just reverses its meaning. And also have a notice of this set right here. This is a complete reskin set. This is a reskin of the Z2. This is a reskin of the heavy flamethrower. This is a reskin of the heavy sniper rifle. Has a bipod, although you may think, oh, that's a little bit of variation up there, but really, I have the weapon myself somewhere around here. There. You see, the, the scope mate is not different. The bipod, the, 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 the tripod is the same. The tripod is the same. And also, this is the reskin of the Celebration of Bazooka. Familiar with that kind of rhythm? You hear it from that weapon as well. So, for some odd reason, everyone thought that the reskin or era was over. Seems like not, when we actually gotten this kind of, kind of stuff right here. And the way they shaped the pixel gun is the same way as they shaping, it's the same texture as Dual Hawks. It was called Advanced Arsenal Set, which gives the same set effect as the Ancient Master Set, as I was explaining earlier. Now, there was a bunch to cover onto this new update, despite having a bunch of good dead. And also, one more thing, there's a new feature, apparently, which is called, from Mooring Anchor, Boomerang. Looks like you fire a weapon that goes forward and then retracts back. And it also goes through opponents and will disable jumps on whoever this weapon hits on. Another anti-jumper anti -jumper weapon. Looks like it looks like this weapon may be dangerous, although it fires in a straight line and then retracts back. Similarly to a piston feature. You fire, you just push forward and then retract that stuff right there. And then the seemingly new features are getting returned into other weapons to make, to probably make the weapon market of those other new, new more unique features available. Because we still got we got another weapon that's tagging, echo scanner. So apparently, if you hit people with this on the flamethrower range, they're gonna get tagged, and people are gonna see where they are. So if you're casual and have this weapon and like to use a flamethrower. You're probably gonna be supporting other people for t for knowing the position of the opponents. I think that's all I gotta say for the update because th this is everything everything that we had to cover up and also the new Atlantis map. I'm not gonna be playing it, so it's not exactly everything, but it's the necessary stuff that I want to cover up. The Atlantis map is reworked with more decorations, all of that stuff, and it looks like th this rhythm is gonna be keep going, renewing maps, bring a lot of freaking content. More mythicals than uh, other rarities, which makes no sense for an actual player who who sits down and thinking about it. That's all I have to say for this update right here, and I hope you guys did enjoy this update review by Boston Mod. And if you have missed something, probably one of the things that I mentioned over here, be sure to let me know. And until then, I'm gonna bring you a ton of review videos because there's new weapons I have for my useless collection, and I gotta get them all done because. <laughs> I'm uh, being too lazy to actually craft and uh, make the videos. It is time to get active and actually make those videos. And don't forget, I will bring a hero video of Shadow Fight 3 real soon, this week. It will be coming this week as well. So until then, I'll catch you guys in another time.